much. We are blessed in so many ways. Blessed to be here together on this first service in the year 2021. Hooray, we made it. We got through. So everyone, uh, let's get settled in and let's feel the presence of divine energy and love surrounding us and embodying us as we together take in a long, soothing breath and exhale. Again, collectively, let's take a peaceful, healing breath and send love and happiness through your own being as you exhale. Another long, soothing, healing breath. And as you exhale, you may exhale with the thought, I am and I can. Very good. Continuing to breathe now at your own pace. You may allow your eyes to close or be open, whichever you prefer. Feeling yourself settling in again, aware of the presence of helpers in spirit, perhaps. Aware of your own guardian angels. A feeling of love that embodies you from infinite spirits surrounding you. And you can feel that loving glow, the glow of love, a peace of serenity wrapping around the crown of your head and feel your head relaxing 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 and allow the light of love to now open the region between your eyebrows the third eye region helping you to see clearly and to know how to act what to do how to think in the best and most healing ways as we move into this next decade that faces us and now feel the healing soothing light relaxing your eyes your cheeks your mouth your lips your jaw, feel your jaw relaxing, and your throat relaxing, relaxing. Feel your throat now connecting perfectly to your lips and to your third eye region and to your crown chakra, knowing that you are now able to speak and communicate with yourself and others clearly. First, most importantly, communicating the truth to yourself, your needs to yourself, what you are grateful for to yourself. Because as you know your own truth, as you are honest with yourself and see and communicate best with yourself, you are able to best communicate your needs and what you can do for the world around you to others. So feel your throat chakra, the energy center in your throat connecting to your intuition zone in your third eye region connecting to your mind and also now connecting with your heart. That's right, your heart and your throat and your intuition and your crown, your, your intelligence are all coming together, connecting perfectly so that you consistently think and act in line with your own highest good. Knowing that as you act in line with your own highest good, the highest good of the entire universe is being served that's right because we are all one we are all just different facets of the same sparkling gem that is the light that is the love of infinite spirit that is the god force that's right so as we act in line with our true and deepest highest good we are acting in line with the highest good of all beings of all people in all places and the words, may all beings be happy, becomes easier as we each act in the true calling of what is the highest good, the highest good of humanity. Breathing and relaxing and feeling now an awareness of your heart. And you can hear your heart beating with gladness and perhaps saying to you in its beating, love you, love you, love you because that is the sound our heart makes. And perhaps that was by intelligent design that our sign, our heart beings would sound with the words, I love you, love you, love you. So feel that love, that self-love now, growing and blossoming inside you. And feel your shoulders and your arms relaxing, your elbows relaxing, your forearms, your wrists, hands, fingers and fingertips relaxing relaxing and what of your hands now let us think of your hands and know that your hands possess 
the ability to heal, to heal you, to send love out into the world through your touch, to do things that are purposeful, to move things in, in varying ways. Your hands possess magic and you can move them around your body to relax yourself. You can touch others only in gentleness. You can decide to be gentle, to be kind, to be aware of the words that you speak, of the messages of your hands and of your body language as you move through this life. I think we've all become aware in the last year that even wearing a mask, our hearts still project love and, and happiness to others when we call upon them to do so. And now we can charge our hands with the duties of only doing good, only doing kindness, only creating things that are wonderful and beautiful and helpful. And we can do the same with our words, speaking words of loving kindness, speaking words of gentleness to ourselves and others. That's right. Everything that we can do can embody love. Everything, every choice that we make, every emotion that we have, can embody love and healing. And we can charge ourselves with that job. If you so choose, you may do that now, deciding to be consistently harmonious, deciding to be ever loving and always loving, deciding to be encouraging and courageous, deciding to speak up when it is important to be heard and when it is important because to be heard because you have something to say that others need to hear. Perhaps like, I love you, or perhaps like, I care, or perhaps like one of my favorites, you've got this, you can do this. Whatever resolutions you have made, it's more important the action than the, the action of making the resolution, yes, is step one. But you can say to yourself, I'm just going to do this. And you can say, I'm doing this. I see myself doing this. I feel myself doing this. I am doing this. I am. I am powered by the light force of the universe. And I can be, do, have, and become anything, feeling your whole body now relaxed, all your internal organs relaxing, the relaxation rolling down, down, down through all your internal organs and feeling warm red energy moving into and out from the base of your spine and feeling healing glowing energy filled with droplets of love and healing moving down through your buttocks, down your legs into your shins, your ankles, your heels, your feet and your toes, relaxed, relaxed, all parts of you, relax now, and your heart beating and glowing with gladness and love. And you may know that there is a place in your mind, a harmonious place that you can travel to, that you can step inside, that you can be a part of. It is right there. You can enter it on any trying day. You can enter it stuck in traffic. You can enter it when you hear news that is less than soothing. You can step into that harmonious state of mind just for its sheer pleasure, because it is deeply pleasuring to be harmonious and to feel that light and joy. And you can go there because in that state, in that harmonious mind, you know you can do anything. You know you are brave, you are courageous, you have all the power and insight and wisdom to think clearly, to let down the veil that might cover your highest knowing, the veil or the shade that might be blocking your sun. You can let it go back up and see clearly and do great things for yourself and for humanity. And now taking a moment, just a moment or two, to focus on what you want in this new year. And see any obstacles that have stood in the way of your success clearing. 
because you know if you always do what you always did or what you've always done, you will always get what you always got. So it is now time to make a new plan and to see what it takes to generate health in your body, healing in our planet, joy in your heart, loving kindness in every cell of your being. And you can put those good energies to work so that you as a facet of the gem that is infinite spirit, that is the God force, glows with brightness and strength and courage and color. And you can color the world brightly. You can carry a torch of love into this new year, into this new decade, throughout your life having the courage of your convictions, being consistently spiritually congruent. And you can act in a way that all beings can truly be happy. All beings can be free. All beings can be fed. All beings can thrive. And our planet, the air, sea, and sky can all heal and thrive and rejuvenate. And so it is. Again, setting your own intentions now while I remain silent for a brief moment. And you can say to yourself the serenity prayer, which goes something like this, God grant me the wisdom to accept the things I cannot change the power to change the things that I can and the ability and wisdom to know the difference. That's right. But first and foremost, know that there is much, much, much you can change. And if you think you can, you can. And if you think you can't, you can't. Because we are what we think. We are what we believe. We even are what we eat. So see yourself again, engaging in loving kindness, walking about inside and outside of meditation, feeling harmonious and joyful. And bring those feelings and the picture and the thought and the knowledge that you will succeed in your goals and you will be happy, healthy and thrive. Bringing it back with you as you now send love to each other and love and healing to the world and as you return to an awareness of our lovely congregation and this planet and yourself as you return alert and clear. I love you. Thank you. Happy New Year.